Monster truck. The your freewheeling days of trying to rule the universe are over. Hey, Scooty, what's keeping you? Shh, I'm almost done. In the end's the best part. That same old comic book again? You've already read it like a thousand times. I know, but it's my favorite. It's a special edition where Super Truck takes on the Monster Truck from Mars! But we're all revved up to play baseball, and we're waiting for you! Uh, okay. I guess I can finish it later. Hurry up, you guys! Okay, Isabel. Give her the old hairpin curveball. <laughs> Job, DJ. What did you use to clean up the mess? Just this dirty old comic book I found. DJ, how could you do that? Well, it was awfully easy. I just picked up the comic book like this, wiped up the ice cream like this. It's ruined. No kidding. That's why I used it. Oh. What you so upset about, Scooty? It's just a torn up, smelly old comic book. Yeah. But that torn up smelly old super truck comic book is really important to Scooty. Or was. Scooty loves super truck. Geesh, I didn't know it was such a big deal. Yeah, well, it is a big deal to me. And just because something isn't important to you doesn't mean it isn't important to someone else. Maybe we should try and cheer him up. Wait up, Scooty! We're all really sorry about what happened, Scooty. I know it was just a comic book, and I've got lots of others, but that one was my favorite, Finley. Give me a break. Scooty's right, you know. What may seem like trash to you may be a treasure to someone else. But it looked more like trash, all old and torn up and lying there. I wouldn't have used it if I knew it was so important to Scooty. Maybe we can help you fix the comic book, Scooty. Oh, I'll get it. Whoa! What was that? Just DJ's old beat-up baseball bat. What do you mean, old beat-up baseball bat? That's my lucky bat, autographed by the whole starting lineup of the Friendlyville Fenders! You've got no idea how I'd feel if it got wrecked. Sure we do. You'd probably feel just as bad as Scooty does right now. That comic book meant as much to him as that bat does to you. Oh, yeah, 
I guess I do see how he feels now. I'd be pretty upset too if something happened to my treasure. I wish there was something I could do to make it up to him. Hmm. Maybe there is. What do you mean, DJ? I'm gonna check all over town, every place they have comic books, until I find another Super Truck Special Edition comic to replace the one I wrecked. We'll help you. Thanks, Finley, but I wanna do this by myself. I was the one who ruined Scooty's comic book, and as his friend, it's my job to do something about it. How'd it go, Deej? You find the comic book? No, and I've looked all over town. Oh, I might as well just throw in the oil rag. Don't give up, DJ. I remember this one time Captain Parker needed a special part for his engine, but they didn't make him anymore. We looked and looked, but we couldn't find one anywhere. And just when we thought we would never, ever find it, we did. Where? At Salvage Sal's. He's an old truck who collects all kinds of stuff nobody else wants. Do you think Salvage Sal might have the comic book? Who knows? But it's worth taking a drive over to see. Come on! This is it! Hello? Hello? Salvage uh, Sal? Mm, mm, uh. All right, all right, I hears you. Ah, customers. Hey, welcome to Salvage Sal's, where the customer is king and Sal loves to sing. Come on in, take a look. We got TVs, couches, and vision hooks from the top to the bottom. If you need it, Sal's got them. What we're looking for is... Don't tell me. You look like a customer who knows a bargain when she sees one. Which is why I'm going to let you have this beautiful instrument for a fraction of its actual value. That's great, but uh, actually what we're looking for is... A fabulous sequin hood wrap. Rumor has it that it was actually worn by the actress Hilary Crankies in the movie You Drive Me Nutty. Uh, no? Oh, okay. Well, uh, how about this? Please, Mr. Salvage Sal, what I'm looking for is a real special comic book. Oh, why didn't you say so? I've got plenty of comics. Why, there isn't a comic book you can name that I don't have. It's a special issue of Super Truck. The one where he fights the monster truck from Mars. Hmm. Never heard of it. But you just said you... But I do have a special edition Truck Man and Veronica comic book. You'll love it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. No, it, it's got to be the special edition Super Truck. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Now that you mention it, that does ring a bell. <laughs> It's exactly the one I'm looking for. I'll take it. Uh, 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 hold on now, little lady. This torn up old comic book must be pretty valuable if you want it so bad. Must be worth a lot of money. Uh, but we don't have a lot of money. Just some pennies I found at the construction site. I couldn't even sell you to cover the comic book for that little bit of money. But it's all I've got. You gotta sell me the comic book, Mr. Salvage Sal. You just gotta. Uh, sorry, kid. But hey, I could probably let this old toaster go for that amount. Oh, I don't need a toaster. I need the comic book. Hey, uh, hold on there. I might be willing to make a trade. A trade? Uh, yeah, a trade. <laughs> I got something you want, you got something I want. I give you what I got, you give me what you got. But I don't have anything to trade. I wouldn't be so sure of that. What's up there in your, uh, scooper? Hey, Scooty! Guess what? What? Show him, DJ! I found you another special edition Super Truck comic book! See? Wow! It's just like my old ripped up smelly one, only newer and not so ripped up! And not so smelly! Where'd you buy it? I didn't. I, I traded for it. DJ traded her autographed baseball bet to sell the salvage truck. So he'd give me the comic book. You did that for me? But that bat meant so much to you. Yeah, but that Super Truck comic meant a lot to you, too. And after my bat almost got wrecked, I realized what it must feel like to lose something you really treasure. 
I'm sorry I ruined your old comic book, Scooty. And I hope this new one makes you feel a little better. Thanks so much, DJ. Knowing what you did to get me this comic book makes it even more special to me than the old one. But I'm sorry you had to trade away your bat. And it's another home run for the Friendly Bill Fender. Yes! Way to go, team! Is that the Fender's baseball game you're listening to, Suds? Yep. Bottom of the eighth, score is tied. Hmm. That gives me an idea. I'll see you guys later. I gotta get to the Friendlyville Baseball Park before the end of the game. The baseball park? What for? Well, I know how much that bat meant to you, DJ. And if I hurry to the park, I'll make it just in time for the Fenders to autograph a new one for you. Looking good, Miguel. Jesse, you're next. Okie dokie. Uh, am I late? Nope, but hurry up and get in line for suds. Everyone's gotta look squeaky clean for the picture. Your idea for a group picture was super duper Finley. Thanks, Isabel. I got the idea from seeing all the old pictures Captain Parker has in the firehouse. It got me thinking. It'd be great for us to take a picture that we can all look back on when we're big grown-up trucks to remind us of all the fun we have together. Oh, I see Miguel practicing his poses for the picture. I'll go help him. <laughs> That's the one, Miguel. Do that in the picture and you'll really like how important you look. Super pose, Scooty. You look just like Super Truck. Okay, time to get in position, everyone. Oh, make sure that Jesse isn't blocked. So when you have everyone in the viewfinder, you... No need to explain, hun. I've been snapping pictures since back when you were still having your oil pan changed. Now, what's this little button do... Huh? Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! oh, sorry, y'all. Back in my day, the flash didn't go off so fast. That's because it was the dark ages, Lois. <laughs> oh, shush, Lyle. You go on and get in the picture, Finley. <laughs> now, I'm going to count to three, and on three, everyone be sure to give your biggest smile. One. Get ready now. Two. Say Axel Grease, everyone. Axel Grease! Hold that pose, y'all, because I'm about to hit this here little button and breathe. <laughs> this was a great idea, Finley. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for helping, Lois and Lyle. Our pleasure, hun. I'll hang the picture outside Suds as soon as it's ready. I can't wait to see how it turns out. You won't have to wait for long. I'm taking it over to the one-hour photo truck right now. Boy, the picture turned out even better than I thought. Uh-uh, absolutely not. No way. What's wrong, Isabel? What's wrong? We have to call everyone back and take another picture. What's the matter with this one? Plenty, can't you see? It makes my cone look so, so big. Well, that's the way it always looks. Don't be silly. My cone doesn't... Ah! You're right! I never noticed it before, but I can't believe how huge it is! You have to throw that picture away. But, Isabel, you look perfect in the picture. Perfectly awful? Okay, look. If it'll make you feel better, I'll take it down. Thank you, Finley. I feel much better now. Who am I kidding? I don't feel any better. Now that I know I've got a giant cone. <gasps> Even my shadow is enormous! I'm surprised I fit through the gate with this gigantonormous cone of mine. <gasps> oh! This is too much! My cone is even more massive than the ice cream factories! That does it. I've got to do something about this. Now! That's right, Lester. I want to see what I'd look like with a different cone. There are 
several models available. This one is called the French Vanilla Look. Uh, I can't wear hats. They make me too hot. How about the Italian Neapolitan? Yeah. It looks like I'm wearing a chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla mattress. Okay then, here's a real favorite, the banana split. Ugh, I want something smaller, not bigger, Lester. What's going on, Isabel, dear? Are you going to a costume party? No, Abigail. I want to see what I would look like if my cone were smaller. Now, why would you want a smaller cone? Look at me. It's way too big and ugly. I need to change it. Oh, trust me, Isabel, you don't need to change a thing. You're beautiful just the way you are. <sighs> yeah, right. Ugh! You see? My cone is such a whopper, I can barely get out the door. Everyone's telling me I look okay, but I know I don't. <laughs> Isabel, lucky thing Carl pulled into the yard to fuel up. Oh, shucks. I just reminded Finley of how bright and colorful you were. And you were easy to spot up here on the hill. Easy to spot because of this eyesore I have on top. A sight for sore eyes, you mean. What are you talking about, Carl? My cone is so big and ugly. Now, how could something that makes you think of ice cream be ugly? Yeah, everyone likes ice cream. And everyone loves your cone, Isabel. Even those little birds. They just use it as a place to rest when they're flying south for the winter. Yeah, but they could rest anywhere. A roof, a tree. They rest on your cone because it looks so friendly. It makes them feel safe and happy. You really think so? I sure do. It is kind of nice when they come to visit. We found her, Jessie! Isabel, when we looked for our picture, Suds told us you were unhappy about it and you asked Finley to take it down. That's right, because it made me see how big and ugly my cone was. Ugly? Your cone is beautiful, Isabel, and it's one of the happiest sights I know. Sure is. Even when I'm having a sad day, I see your cone and it always makes me smile. Aw, you're just saying all that to cheer me up. So, uh, maybe you'd rather look like her. Oh, I sure would. <sighs> now that's an ice cream truck with a beautiful cone. <laughs> What's so funny? It's a picture of you, Isabel. What? Oh, really? But how? It's one of the ones that Lois snapped by accident before everyone got into their pose. My cone! It's not really ugly at all. Of course not, silly. It's beautiful. And you're beautiful just the way you are. That's what Abigail said. And you know what? She was right. She sure was. Everybody loves your cone. It's beautiful and really, really special. I never thought of my cone that way before. But it is kind of special, isn't it? You betcha. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and now that I think about it, it really is just the right shape and, and color and size. I love my cone. I don't know why I even thought about changing it. Oh, no. 
I asked Finley to throw away the other picture. Actually, I didn't get around to it yet. Well, don't you dare throw it away. We have to go put it up for everyone to see. I was hoping you'd say that. Whenever you're around 